Chief Miss, I know you'd rather be starting under different circumstances, but how good will it be to be back out there under center? Uh, first off, man, I'm, I'm extremely grateful to have yet another opportunity uh, to do what the Lord has called me to do uh, in the NFL, and that's be a starting NFL quarterback. Uh, so uh, I'm beyond uh, grateful for this, and, uh, and I, I am prepared, and, uh, and I will do my very best. What, what can you do to add a spark to this offense? Uh, go out there one play at a time and uh, in actions and execute. It's simple. Ken Dorsey, we were just told, is going to be calling the plays. Um, just what are your thoughts on that and how might that change things and how, what kind of relationship do you have with him and all of that? Yeah, we've been with Ken uh, since training camp. Uh, his voice has uh, always been in my ear uh, through mean rooms, uh, through even on the field. So I'm excited that he gets a, a, another opportunity to go out there and dial up some great plays. Were you surprised that that change was made? <clears throat> uh, at the end of the day, man, I, my focus is on doing whatever's required for this team to be in the best position to win football game. The fact that you were able to come in as the third quarterback on Sunday, you were able to throw a touchdown, you got the two-point conversion. Does that matter? Does that do anything for you going into this week playing a, a Ravens team that seems to be clicking on all Well, scores? everything matters. Everything matters. Uh, but my focus is on today, Wednesday. Uh, we will get to Sunday. Uh, we know this is a great team, but uh, we're preparing to be our very best. James, do you view this as a chance to reestablish yourself as an NFL starter? I, I, I view this as an opportunity to go out there and be my very best. And with, when I'm my very best, uh, I'm a great NFL starter. James, what are your thoughts on Deshaun being lost through the season with his Achilles and undergoing surgery on Friday? You had such a great relationship with him. You were, you guys got so close this year. So, what are your thoughts on, on that and him and maybe the outlook? Yeah, I, I won't cease praying for him. Uh, I, I just, I, I know uh, the the mental uh, strain that that is uh, when you are done for a season, especially all the work that you put in uh, for that season. Uh, but uh, we're gonna continue to lift him up uh, throughout the year, regardless. James, what was your best year in your career? Right now. Right now is my best year. Why is that? Because now is the only thing that matters. James, how much did the time you spent on, you know, as a, as a backup, kind of watching from the sideline, how much has that helped, you know, change and benefit you as you go into this, uh, you know, returning to the starting? I'm, I'm always preparing as if I am the starter. And now that I am the starter, uh, I'm going to continue to prepare like an NFL starting quarterback. James, there have been so many issues offensively, um, just for you watching on the sidelines and being in the room all week and that, um, what can you do to provide a, a spark to get this offense on track? The circumstances of why you're in there aside, but just what can you do to get this thing moving in the right direction? Yeah, uh, my, what, what I can do is be decisive, keep everything simple, uh, and just do my job. Uh, what we can do as an offense is to be decisive, uh, keep things simple, and do our job. How have you evolved as a quarterback in these 10 years? When I had the opportunity to sit behind Drew Brees and Sean Payton uh, in 20, um, 2020, during the year of COVID, uh, then I understood the importance of the process of being an NFL quarterback. What does it take to, to, to beat this specific team? Uh, what does it take uh, for a quarterback uh, to make the plays that he should make and to not make the plays uh, that he shouldn't make? So I think my involvement as a quarterback has been every year, but I believe knowing the plays not to make instead of knowing the plays that I am capable of making. It seems you've been fond of going downfield vertically in your career. Is, is that something that's offenses lack to this point for whatever reason? Uh, what, what's more important is our execution. Uh, we have to go, we have had some good drives, sustained drives. Uh, we have to continue to build on drives and give our defense a breather, uh, whether that's taking what the defense gives us. We all want to attack the ball, attack the ball down the field vertically. Like that's explosive. That's fun football, uh, and that's what we're trying to incorporate as offense is get back to playing Cleveland Browns fun football. 
What did what did Drew and, and Sean the time in New Orleans? What specifically did they, they show you about the process? The, the the continuity in in really knowing what does it take this week to beat this team. Uh, Every NFL game is not the same, as we all know, but there are little intricacies and processes uh, that you have to be willing to be put in place uh, for your approach for that game. How do you feel like you might be a better quarterback now for this start on Sunday than you were even two years ago for your previous start? Well, I'm, I'm not really. Uh, I know I'm a better quarterback now because now is the opportunity that I have. Uh, two years ago, I don't, I don't even remember two years ago. Uh, I'm focused on right now. Hey, James, you know, we talked so much about your leadership. How is that important right now, given five-game losing streak, one and six, play color change, everything that's going on? How can you kind of galvanize the guys around you? By being a, being consistent with who I am. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not a guy that that uh, that hangs on the fence. Like, I'm going to be uh, out in front, out in the open, uh, and I'm going to be who I am every single day. Uh, one of my greatest traits is uh, being authentic, and I think my teammates respect that. Uh, nothing different is going to change uh, besides a new quarterback. Is it easier to use your natural leadership ability now that you are back out in front as a starter? Uh, I, I believe any time that you're able to be on the field with the guys, um, I'll put it like this, in terms of uh, military, uh, your soldiers are going to listen to the people that are out there uh, in the field, no matter how much uh, the nurse or cafeteria uh, person can encourage them, they're going to really fight for the people that are out there uh, in, in, the, in the fire with them. James, uh, you and Deshaun have some traits from a football standpoint that are similar, you have some things that are different. What changes, if anything, about the offense and maybe how they'll run things with you out there versus when you're down? What, what changes is, is, is going to be a, a, a different number at quarterback. I don't know how many games you have to play in your career against the Ravens, but you've always been in different divisions than this one. Uh, what are your observations about their defense? Uh, well, I, I know that they're, they're a tough team. Historically, they have been one of the best defenses uh, in, in my era. Uh, so I, I know they're going to play hard. Uh, I know that they have a good secondary. Uh, one of my good friends over there, Marlon Humphrey, uh, we're from the same area. Uh, I, I know that uh, number 14, he's a great player. Uh, they have a, a nice veteran back in with Eddie Jackson. He's awesome. And Marcus Williams, he's awesome too. So uh, we just got to go and do our job. It's really not about them and who they are. It's, it's about us and who we are. I know you said you're not thinking about two years ago when you made your last start. But was, it, was that experience tough for you, starting the season, getting hurt, and then not having another chance to start until now? Well, well that, that really doesn't matter. What matters is this opportunity that I have right now. Uh, and, and like I said, I'm extremely grateful and happy uh, that I get a chance to go out there and, and be my very best. James, the last time we saw you after the game, uh, you gave your impassioned speech about what happened with the fans and Deshaun Watson after that game. Mm -hmm. uh, so my question is, how do you feel about the relationship right now between the Browns players and the fans, and how are you going to reconcile when you go out there to play? In oh, well, I, I, I feel like I made it very clear of my love and passion for these fans and, and how grateful we are that they are passionate fans. Uh, I just know that there's a way to do things and there, there's a way not to do things. And I'm not saying that every fan uh, made um, that decision uh, to act in that way. Uh, so uh, if you are concerned about that, man, just pull up to the game and, and, and let's show up. Let's show up and show out and whatever you feel, let it be felt. Uh, but, but we need you. Uh, I think it's so important uh, when you have a, a, a story fan base to support their team. And uh, I know uh, we cannot do it without you. Jameis, you talked about having a great relationship with Ken Dorsey. What type of level of trust do you have in him now that he's taking over his well, he's, he's a world-class offensive coordinator. Uh, he's, he's been doing this uh, since he's been winning championships in Miami. Uh, so I, I know that he's going to do a, a heck of a job. And I'm, that's my coach. I'm going to fight for him. And I'm going to do whatever's required uh, to help lead us to a victory. If he were Say to more. call plays upstairs like he did in Buffalo, would you lean on Stefanski as the game day quarterback coach, so to speak? Uh, I'm, I'm going to be leaning on everyone uh, that is willing and able uh, to help assist us in finding a way to, to earn the Cleveland Browns a victory 
on Sunday. James, what does it say about Kevin that he gave up the play calling, which he hadn't done in his first four and a half years? He'd always done that. Uh, I, I think uh, Coach Stefanski has noticed what he noticed uh, in the decision that uh, our head coach makes. Uh, all the decisions that we're going to live and die by. Uh, so uh, I'm just grateful uh, that he has uh, the awareness uh, to make any decision. At any time, one more. Jameis, I know we asked you about Nick on Sunday and how he played, but getting a chance to go out there with Nick Chubb, just knowing this injury he came out of and how he came out of that game, what's your thoughts on getting a chance to actually play with him? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm a guy that, that really doesn't need too much motivation. Uh, but playing with Nick Chubb, knowing what he's overcame is very inspiring. Uh, and what he means to this city and to this football team, uh, I'm going to go out there and, 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 and give my best for him to, to excel and, and be who he is. Appreciate it, John. All right, thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you, James.